Hey y'all, I'm Alain Garcon. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, subscribe. It won't be your last girl. All right, y'all, so bear with me. I have recorded the intro to this story a thousand times. A uh, thousand times. And it's not getting any easier to say, but we'll get there. So, earlier today, Chris Daughtry, the American Idol star, posted on his Instagram that his daughter is dead. Now, this came as a shock to him, Hollywood, everybody, like, she didn't have any health things going on. It wasn't COVID. We're in a pandemic. So I know when you hear that someone dies unexpectedly, you're just like, was it COVID? No, this was not the situation. Um, it's way deeper than that. We'll just put it that way. So uh, Chris and Deanna, his wife, both posted on their social media platforms that Hannah, which is Deanna's daughter from a previous marriage, Deanna has two children from a previous marriage, but her and Chris Daughtry do share um, a set of 10-year-old twins. So Chris is not acknowledging the step part. He's just like, listen, something happened to my daughter. Um, and the reason I say something is because police have confirmed that this was a homicide. Hannah was found in her home in Tennessee with injuries. Injuries that basically said this wasn't like she just went to sleep and never woke up. No, this was not a peaceful death. This was not something health related. This was violent. This was a homicide. And nobody really heard from her boyfriend until he was arrested. He was also arrested on Friday, Bobby Jolly. That's quite a name. I don't know why that name just gives, it just gives me, and I say this, I'm a very blunt person. Bobby Jolly, I would never have dated that person because that name just gives me, it just, that name is a red flag. And I'm just going to leave that there. Okay. Now, it, it gets even deeper because Chris Daughtry also lost his mother to cancer not too long ago. So this is just like grieving death after death after death at this point. So Daughtry also went on to post that um, while he's on tour, he's going to postpone the five shows that are happening this upcoming week. Those shows are getting postponed. I'd imagine that they are being postponed for longer, but that statement hasn't been put out. I can't imagine just one week, you know, being able to bounce back, but a good performer is a good performer. And, you know, sometimes people dive deeper into their work with grieving, but hopefully, I just hope that the family takes the time that they need to grieve this and also like take on this process because I've never dealt with a family member passing because of a homicide, but I can't imagine. I've watched enough Law and & Order. And, and I know that it's like a continuance of revelation after revelation after revelation. So you really don't get to grieve until you kind of know what... Do you get some kind of closure on what happened? Because right now, they're just like in suspension. They don't know. They're just like, she was found with injuries. The boyfriend is arrested. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to think. All they can do is try to just be in reality. Because a lot of times, you just go into denial. And it's like, no, I don't believe you. Um, the entire story is really sad. I'm going to be following this story. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you turn your notifications on. And as soon as the police come back with a statement saying, you know, what happened to her, I will be right on here telling you all so that we can just... Send our positivity, our prayers, and condolences to Chris Daughtry's family. I send my condolences. This is sickening. I was literally on my way home from work reading this story. Like, what? This came out of nowhere. Nowhere. So, um, definitely stick with me. This story is cray. I hate stories about death. But, again, shit just cannot slide under the rugs. We don't slide things under the rugs here. These are the actuals and factuals. I'm your host, Manon Garcon, and definitely stick on for the next one. It's been real, it's been fun, but it ain't been real fun.